Hey guys, it's iTalkApple with another um, beginner OS X tutorial. This one is just about getting around your Mac, um, learning the user interface, how it's kind of different from Windows, of course. When you first boot up your Mac, you set up your account, with you put in your information, stuff like that. You get to watch the fun little intro video for the operating system. And then you're brought to your desktop, which is what I have right here on my screen. This is pretty much the default desktop, aside from a few icons that I have changed, but I made an account specifically for this video, so it would be um, pretty much the out-of-the-box Mac. At the top here, this bar is the menu bar, of course. Unlike Windows, where the menu bar is within um, the window of an application, this menu bar is always here, it's fixed here, you can't get rid of it, and it changes according to what application is open. On the left side of the menu bar you have application specific menus and on the right side is um, some other tools that I'll go over a little later. And on the, the Apple logo you can access about this Mac so some system information. You can check for software updates, um, access your system preferences quickly, sleep, restart, or shut down your computer, and log out. So that's the menu bar. Below the menu bar, you see I have this little icon that says backups. That is my external hard drive. Whenever you connect a device to your computer, such as a hard drive or a flash drive, CD or DVD, it'll show up on your desktop, a little icon. You can always make it so it does not show up, but I'm not going to get into that in this video. And then running along the bottom of your desktop, what Macs are really well known for is the dock. And the dock provides you really easy access to applications and folders on your Mac. Something I've noticed is that Apple really wants to make it easy for you to access anything on your Mac without actually going through a bunch of folders. It's easy to access anything right from the desktop, whether it be from the dock, or from Spotlight up here, which I'll um, go over a little later in the video. It's really easy to access anything. Let's say I open an application from the dock, Safari for example. Um, as you can see, the menu bar changed. Now it says Safari, File, Edit, View, History, Bookmarks. This is specific to the Safari application. Um, at the top, you have your um, close window, minimize, and maximize button. And on Windows, these buttons are on the right side. And they're slightly different um, on a Mac than Windows. So this is something that a lot of switchers are generally confused about. Um, the first button here, the close button, if I click it, it closes the window, but it does not quit the application. The application is still running. If you're ever confused, just look in your dock, and as you can see, the Safari icon has a little blue orb for light beneath it, um, indicating that it's running. So when I click the icon, it doesn't have to relaunch the whole application. And the Minimize button minimizes the window into your dock. And you can always change this so it minimizes into the application icon, depending on what your personal preference is. And then the maximize button is kind of weird. To resize the window, you go to the bottom right hand corner. You can resize it. Now, if I click the maximize button, it resizes the window just so everything I need to see is displayed. If I were to resize this even more, as you can see, there's just white space. It's really not necessary to look at. So that's why when I'm not um, expanded the window all the way, I can click this Maximize button and it'll expand it just to where it needs to be. It doesn't actually expand it so it takes up your whole screen. And, I mean, why would you want it to take up your whole screen anyways? So, that is some basic in-application um, navigation. Ah, that rhymes. Anyways, so I'm going to quit Safari. To quit an application, you can go to the menu and hit Quit Safari. Or, as you can see, the shortcut is Command Q. Or you can right click on the application in your dock and hit Quit. So, that is just the basic UI on a Mac. 
Now, in your doc, like I said earlier, you can store shortcuts to applications and folders. So, on the left side of this divider here are applications. These are the applications that will automatically be in your doc. And then on the right side are shortcuts to folders called stacks. So if I click this applications one, this is actually my applications folder. It shows me the applications in my Mac. So you can add a stack just by dragging and dropping it as long as it's on the right side of this divider. And same thing with adding an application to your doc, just drag it in. If you don't want to use one of these applications, if you find it unnecessary to be in your doc and it's just wasting space, like dashboard for example, let's say you don't want it, you can drag it out and the little poof icon comes up when you let go, makes the poof noise, and it's gone. It's still on your hard drive, you have not deleted the application, it's just the shortcut is gone. I can add it back by opening a finder window, going to applications, and dragging the app back in. So the first icon in your dock is the finder. On a PC running Windows, um, I guess you could compare it to Explorer or, and when I say Explorer, I don't mean Internet Explorer, I mean the actual window, Windows Explorer, or the Start menu. But it's way better than the Start menu. Um, I'll go over the finder in another video. Next is Dashboard, which stores mini applications, also known as widgets, mails for checking your email, Safari is the web browser, iChat is for instant messaging, video chatting, and audio chatting, address book for organizing your contacts, iCal for your calendar, preview is for viewing PDFs and JPEG images. It's a very powerful PDF viewer actually. Um, iTunes for managing your music and buying music, photo booth for taking funny pictures, iPhoto, um, managing your digital photo library. iMovie is for video editing. GarageBand is for making music. Time Machine is for backing up all your files on your system if you have an external hard drive connected. It's really useful. System Preferences to manage everything on your system, all your preferences to make it your own. And then these two applications are just applications that I currently have running. Whenever an application is running, it will appear in your dock, even though it may not be in your dock to begin with. And then the stacks that come preloaded on your dock are your application stack, documents, and downloads. And then, of course, you have the trash here for deleting anything on your Mac. So that's it. That's a basic overview of um, your Mac. And my next video will be just about the Finder, maybe a few other things. I hope this helped if you're a new Mac user or if you're thinking about switching to a Mac or if you're preparing to switch for a Mac, which is a great idea, by the way. I really recommend it. Um, and if my voice sounds weird, it's because I'm getting over a cold. So, yeah. Um, if you have any questions, comment. If you have any requests or um, anything like that, just comment below and I'll get to it eventually, hopefully. And yeah, thanks for watching and have a great day.